SharePoint look and feel evolving on our eyes. Finally, Microsoft delivering the brand center for your SharePoint Online that will start the evolution of the way how you will be able to customize the visual aspect of your intranet, of your SharePoint site, or in general, the way how SharePoint will be visually represented to your business users. We are not yet in the fully modern approach when you can customize everything, but finally we get the new features that will be able to customize phones, colors, and more. In this video, I will show you how to configure the brand center and how to deploy the configuration of the way how your SharePoint will look like using the new customizations available in there. And as always, if you will like this video, I want to ask you to leave the comment below, thumbs up or the subscription. So let's move to my screen and let's see how the brand center preview looks like. Now it will be possible for you to use the new feature in SharePoint Online Brand Center that will allow you to manage the fonts and colors and then deploy them to SharePoint and Viva connection experience for your users to switch the look and feel of your SharePoint site. You saw how the Brand Center for SharePoint looks like, so let's take a look on the example of the SharePoint site and the look and feel before applying the changes from the new Brand Center settings. And you can see you can apply customized fonts and the color palette for your SharePoint and intranet and change the way how your site will look like with zero code approach. So let's configure the brand center for our Microsoft 365 environment. To do that, you need to go to the Microsoft admin center and for the organization settings, where you will be able to found the brand center preview and quite soon global availability of this feature. In this space, you will be able to configure and deploy the brand center site and the application. You need to know that at the moment there is only one brand center available for the organization and moreover it will automatically recognize if you using organization assets and reuse that space. If you're not using that feature this will also deploy that functionality which offers you the possibility to publish the pictures and, and share them globally with all SharePoint sites. Moreover, you will be asked also to activate CDN, so Content Delivery Network. This will speed up the global availability of the information of the fonts, images, and styles that will be deployed in the brand center. The only thing you need to do is to activate the brand center in your environment, and you can see automatically brand center is configured, selected brand center site is shared and also brand center app is deployed. When you will move to the organization asset sites or your selected brand center website, you will be able to found in the settings the link to the brand center which is also available in the preview screen. When you will open it, you will be navigated to the new configuration panel, which is brand center for your organization, which allows you to add fonts and color palettes that will be deployed for your SharePoint and Viva connection. In the next step, what you can do is to create the package of fonts and colors that you will be able then deploy to your SharePoint sites or to Viva connections experience. In case of fonts, the only thing you need to do is to upload the font from the local PC and upload it. After you will upload font in the specific format, you will need to give SharePoint few minutes to update this information and to allow to use it globally on SharePoint sites. Moreover, you will be able to create the color palette and save that color into your SharePoint site. You can also add additional colors, Thanks to that, you will be able to add multiple colors for your users that will be available as a setup when people will work with the sites. Now what you can do, you can deploy your configuration and set up font package that will be displayed for your business users. Very easy, you can deploy your font to the specific sites and also you can see if you will deploy multiple fonts or multiple type of fonts, you will be able to switch between them for the specific parts of the SharePoint site. 
and you can save that font package that will be deployed for your business users. You can see I used very simple scenario, but you will be able to customize it on the multiple levels. And if you have your company brand look, you will be able to select specific fonts and deploy it to your SharePoint sites. You can also prepare the theme color palette that will be available for your business users who creates the SharePoint sites. For instance, you can select the colors that you prefer and create that kind of palette for your business users. You can see on the right side, you have also the overview how that kind of setup could look like and you can create that kind of package of the colors that will be deployed for your SharePoint sites. You can see maybe this is not the total change of the way how SharePoint will look like, but this solution is the first step to standardize the look and feel of your SharePoint environment. And when you will get back to your SharePoint site and go to the change the look section, you will have the capability to select the fonts that are deployed from perspective of the organization. You can see the site change the look and feel. We change the font to the robot style. And also from the perspective of the team, you will be able to select the company branding. And in such a setup, very easily you can deploy the new color palette and the fonts that will be used in your SharePoint experience thanks to the brand center. You can see this totally zero code approach, but you need to remember this functionality is the first step to evolve the look and feel of SharePoint Online. As you can see, the configuration of the new brand center for the SharePoint Online is not that difficult. I highly recommend you to try it and improve the quality of the layout of your SharePoint sites. And remember, in the future, that will be the place the new functionalities will arrive to also improve the look and feel of your SharePoint. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.